Hi, it's Preston DeGuys here. Now in previous videos, we've deployed PPDM, run through the initial setup, added the licensing and configured a DR backup process. In this video, I'm going to take you through the process of adding a vCenter server to your PPDM environment so that you can start configuring backup policies for your VMware virtual machines. In normal operations, you can add a vCenter server using the infrastructure sidebar option, but since we've still got the getting started page visible, there's an option to add a vCenter server directly from there. Once we've clicked through to this page, we can add a vCenter server, application or file system host, a storage direct server, or a Kubernetes cluster. In this case, I'm going to leave vCenter server selected and click add. You start by entering the vCenter server name as it will be shown in PPDM and provide the fully qualified domain name or failing that, the IP address of the vCenter server. You'll also have to supply credentials for PPDM to use to connect to the vCenter server. Now normally you'd configure a specific account with only the required permissions, but since this is just a lab server, I'm going to use my main vCenter server logon for the credentials. Once I've supplied the credentials, I can choose to enable a regular rediscovery of the vCenter environment. Clicking verify will have PPDM connect to the vCenter server to confirm that the credentials work and to allow you to confirm that the vCenter certificate is correct as well. Click accept and then you can click save. Now PPDM will do some initial processing as it configures access to your vCenter server and then it's going to return you to the asset sources screen. In the next video, I'll show you how to set up your first VMware backup policy. Thanks for watching.